All right, so uh, whenever you're ready, Justin. Alrighty. Well, what is up, YouTube? It's been literally forever, but we are back with a, yeah, another everybody. series we want to try to do. Yeah, I hope everybody had a happy Christmas, New Year's. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing your family or spending some time alone, whatever floats your boat. But now we're back, whether you like it or not. I want to try something a little different in Stellaris. Well, maybe not different. I'm not, I haven't checked YouTube to see how popular this is. But we're going to do the One Planet Challenge. We each have one guy a world loaded up. We've got some ground rules in place, some very limited ground rules. Uh, we can only stay on this planet. Even if we do encounter another Gaia world, we cannot settle it. Uh, we can expand as much as we want, you know, using uh, stations and all that. And if by some miracle we survive long enough to get mega structures, uh, we can build ring worlds, uh, habitat stations, and all that. Uh, but as far as I can tell, those were all the rules we really had. Yeah. Uh, and is there anything I'm... else you want to add? No, I just I do want to acknowledge that I think purists don't allow habitats and ring worlds, but th I mean, heck, that's part of the fun of Stellaris is getting to build those giant honking things. Well, I've so, got my research pick, so I'm going to hit play in about 10 seconds. Yeah, you go ahead and do you, Justin. Uh, I'm also going to get my city set up. So hopefully with this new you know planet management system, things will be a little a little more different for a one uh, one planet challenge. You have a little bit more wiggle room with your resources. Yes, but it's gonna be. It's, you're gonna have to be very careful about how you start. Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose that's true. Because I got gotta go growth. Yeah, I gotta get growth first. But then you have to switch over from growth to everything else, or you're just gonna have way too much food. Well, because you don't want to overpopulate your planet and then have a bunch of issues. Exactly. So. Uh, so first things first, get some minerals. Always a good place to start. Uh, get the scientist working. So what kind of what kind of ethics and civics and stuff do you have going on, Justin? So I went ahead and made myself an egalitarian xenophile pacifist. And then the civic, okay. besides the obvious life seated, went agrarian ideal. Because I can get oh. the, the generator mining and agriculture districts provide more housing. City districts do not. But then farmers also produce amenities. I did consider getting that one. Uh, I actually went technocracy for uh, the extra science and unity. So if you get ahead of me in tech, we know what happened. Yeah, we'll know what happened. I also went pacifist, but I went authoritarian and materialist. I knew you went authoritarian because you mentioned the feudal society thing. Yes. And, and I went materialist just for the extra research speed, and maybe I'll get robots. I don't know. I, was I feel like robots, robots might take up space. Yeah, because you're going to be limited in population. You could play a pure... Um, if you wanted to do a... Uh, one planet but as a robot person what it would be is you'd have robots colonizing your other planets it's not a true one planet but it's a role playing i did consider that loophole like have robots colonize your other planets nah, and then nah, release them as vassals now nah, that's not in the spirit of it the, the joy of one planet is building tall not wide exactly exactly so uh corporate is not something i'll have to worry about but you don't have to worry about other corporates yes uh, and don't forget to clear out your slum to get that extra population. Oh, thank you. That's always a pro tip for all you new players out there who haven't touched Stop Stellaris. For anyone out there, just just remember, clear Holy out the slums. My god, is this music loud? I'm going to have to fix that a little bit. My music is I, I got, fine. I love the music. It's very triumphant, but I don't need it to be that triumphant in my ear. Triumphantly blowing your eardrums out. Come on, man. Yeah. Like there isn't much left in there, guys. I need to I need to preserve my eardrums as much as possible. Uh, you're an old man now. Construction. I am. We all have our faults, Justin. I can't hear worth a damn. And I blew um, out my shoulder last week, so there you go. And you blew out your shoulder last week. I legitimately did. Like even carrying the baby, I, my right arm cannot hold weight right now. Construction. Although I, I did, I think the closest I ever came to. I didn't know what people were talking about when they said they were throwing out their back or, you know, all that. I did come close to what I think is throwing out my back. What? I was picking, back when I was working at the car battery place. Oh, yes. I, I picked up, and so I, I picked a battery up off the floor, put it at about a shoulder high shelf. And I did that about 50 times, and I felt like my back was going, I felt like I was going to snap in half, Justin. You, I remember you said you were pretty miserable there. It was pretty god-awful. Uh, manual labor does not treat me very well. 
Well, and frankly, it doesn't... Yeah. It, it, it's it's not battery... the most desirable of job positions. Yeah, battery acid. Believe it or not, not comfortable to have on your skin. <laughs> but Hunter, if you stayed, you could have worked your way up to about 13 to 15 bucks an hour, man. Oh, boy, and I could have been away from home for a week at a time. Yeah. That's you... great. Isn't that, isn't that wonderful, though? Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> oh, God, what tradition are you going to go down? I just started going down Discovery. Oh, yeah, that's right. Discovery's always a good one to start with. The only one... So, expansion's still not bad. It just... Because you get your population growth speed increased, you get starbase influence cost, and stuff reduced. There's only one thing... Complete. Only a couple things that expansion doesn't give you that would be nice. Yeah. I should have gone to going... the game perks. I was thinking of going maybe Prosperity. I thought I or, or Harmony, because Harmony is all about pops on planets. That's true. Harmony would be good late game, I know that much. Um, the other issue, though, is um, Prosperity is almost always a very good one to start with. Yes. What'd you end up picking? I went Discovery, because that's always a good one to start with. You're, just, you're um, always going to be doing stuff in space. See... Now I'm kind of like, do I? So, are you filling in your building spots? Why do? Are you filling in your building spots right away, or are you working on agriculture? I, I mean, I'm working on districts first, just to kind of make sure I have some. But I mean, I put in like the Autochthon right. Monument, and I just went and got that in there. Yeah, yeah, like the, um, the Unity one. Yeah, and I mean, I'm gonna throw, I throw a precinct house and a luxury resident. Like, I'm gonna put one of everything. Actually, now that you mentioned Discovery, I am going to. Get a second sign. Uh, policies. I need to fix my food policy. Man, you raise a good point. I'm gonna go ahead and build a second sign. Chip. It used to always be a given to do that, but yeah. So, can I afford to? Yes, I can. Nutritional plentitude, and then economic policy is set to. Nope, I don't need alloys that bad. How about monthly consumer goods? That's yeah, that's a good one to have. Okay, uh, make... you know, sometimes it's nice to know about consumer goods. I'm gonna laugh when we're next to each other. So the system is a medium system. We just kind of went medium system, normal computers. We normalized the tech speed again from Resettlement the community game speeds. Inhibited. Oh no! Don't do that. Um, that's good. That's good. That's good. Purge is fine. Um, Population controls allowed. Good. Anomaly detected. Robot workers can't outlaw them. You cannot outlaw robot workers? No, because I'm materialist. Oh. Oh, wait, right. you said you're materialist. So yep. you're going tech. Yeah. Marketplace of ideas for the extra Star unity. System charted. Yep. Joke's on you. I'm a crime syndicate. A one-planet crime syndicate. Well, I feel... Isn't... Well, I guess, no, that's right. Tech is, I always get this confused with civilization, is is a high population good for tech or bad for tech? High population is good for tech. However, having a lot of systems is not. Like, for example, in Civ, you build extra cities and it increases your tech and culture, or I think it increases your tech and culture time, but then you get all the people in it and it balances out and actually becomes a net positive. Right. So, since, you know, we took a few hours there, but we got it all set up. No, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, do you want to tell them about the fiasco that is our Crusader King save? Oh, yeah. Um, so, the for any of you watching this that watches uh, some of our Crusader Kings stuff, so we have a um, Crusader Kings game, the Animal Kingdom game, the random one. The that Yeah, it's been going on for a few months. Long story short... Every, everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. It would be a tragedy if something were to happen. You know, it would. It would be such a tragedy. And today we are in mourning because for some reason we have... Uh, <laughs> Lost the save file, to say the least. Yeah, there's apparently an issue with the multiplayer saves that we didn't know about until just now, where I had an old save, Justin had the newest save. Uh, we didn't remember, because it had been, it'd been a while since we up since we had Things have recorded. happened since then. Yeah, we, uh, I hosted the game thinking I had the most recent save, Justin joined in and synced up. Apparently that syncing process overrode his... Uh, more save. recent save so now we can't get the most recent save back so we lost an entire session's worth of progress because uh, I hosted the game instead of Justin and it was such good progress that we're seriously debating just scrapping it 
I don't it's know. If we don't scrap it, like we'd have happens. to try to replicate because I really don't want to. It was so good, man. I think we. I know. I miss it. I, this definitely. I, I swear. I know people do this all the time where they Purdue my save got corrupted. Sorry, guys. This is honestly something that happened to us completely out of our control. And we're really annoyed we because just, it was actually going very well. Yeah, I, I like the direction it was going. I conquered a country twice my size. I ate Africa, darn it. Situation <laughs> he ate Africa. So, Hunter, how's your navy? If I invade you right now, would you be dead? Uh, if you can find... Oh. Dead Wait, I that's know. not you. No, I'm about to say... No, I, I, you. I found somebody else. I found a fallen... Oh, no. I found the automated dreadnought. These guys are a fallen empire, right? Oh, no. They, there's no way they're that big already, right? A fallen empire? Situation log updated. No, no, no. This is just a regular guy. Oh, I was about to say, a fallen empire could be just as big as you'd want them to be. That's not good. Um, okay, construction oh, ships. Get over there. Uh, shipyards. The trick Let's is making sure you have the right buildings built. Good heavens. Yeah, you gotta get that early. You gotta get everything right early on. Um, sure, do that. It won't help too much, but do that. Anomaly detected. And that's not challenging enough. You can try hard. Okay, good. So we can get a bunch of that stuff built right away. I go ahead and research that, and look at that. Uh, I need to take a look at the situation log because I'm way behind on that track. I think and that's the then... pulsing stars. Yeah, sometimes I forget about the situation log, go back through, and then cleanse it. Yeah, you've got so much stuff that you need to take care of. Yep, basically. You go back through, then you do all your research projects in one go. Your science ship's like, like finally, I actually get to do fun stuff. Oh, system charted. oh god, no, I meant select this. There we go. There's a lot of anomalies, guys. Good heavens. Oh, I can't do that. I don't have a scientist. Oh, he died. That Survey sucks. Complete. Are your people fleeting? Lose scientists... Yeah, lose a scientist that early on. Actually, uh, honest question. Do you have the fleeting trait? Oh, no, that's my second scientist. Uh, no, I don't have the fleeting trait. I thought about getting it. There we go. Uh, 200 minerals. Planetary growth. For yes, please. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, well, I've um, already got factions. Get that. Yeah, same here. Mine just popped up. The farming's like gene clinics. Monthly unity. I'll take that. I'm already losing energy. I am going to slow it down for just a second. I'm kind of backlogged. You're all good. Oh, Justin, can you slow it down for a second? I forgot. I couldn't. I can't mess with that. How about that? Uh, oh, no, no. I just Two speed will be fine. Boop. Yeah, I don't want to slow it all the way down to that. Uh, so you guys get grouped up. Evading hostiles. We have found beta aliens. Okay, you get over here. Research project. Uh, check, check, check. Peace and prosperity initiative. Defensive stance. Restricting our policies to defensive wars. There nah, that's fine. I think I found all my precursor stuff. <laughs> really? Oh. Like, I think they're all anom like really, really difficult anomalies, but I think I found them. Okay, how's the capital doing? Capital's good, uh, good. Your capital's great. Uh, yeah, you, so you left me to watch it, and uh, yeah, it, it's these. gone. All right, we're all good here. Uh, I can go back up to three speed if you're good. And shaboom. Shaboom? Is that Yiddish? It is now. It's it's Yiddish for go faster. You shaboom, I shaboom, we shaboom. It was just a shaboom and down the street. Oh gosh. Does it make us racist? No, no. It's, uh... It's parody. It's not. It's... Well, it's just like... I don't know. It's like your casual New, new York guy. Yiddish hey, I'm a casual is, New Yorker. Well, at this point, Yiddish isn't just... Yiddish isn't just for people of Jewish, Jewish descent. There are some regions where Yiddish is just part of the culture. That's fair. That's fair. Anything we do is never usually in bad taste. Just so, just so everyone's aware. <laughs> yeah. Usually it's just based in ignorance. Yeah, ignorance. Construction. Complete. The ignorance never did anything wrong. It really didn't, you know. Survey complete. Uh, all right, good. So I've finished discovery, and now I can get this. Now you gotta start enterprise, and uh, 
Yeah. Have you seen Star Trek Discovery? I have not. Is it any good? I started the first season. I thought it was all right. Um, I think I, we've talked about this before. It is more action-y than I would like. Like, that's my problem with all these... Uh, that's my problem with all the new Star Trek stuff, is it's very... It's all shoot this, shoot that, shoot this it's to solve our same. problems. Instead of, no, it's not the same. Like, I miss it when they would talk their way out of the problems. Mm-hmm. I can see that. You know, I'm gonna do this. I'm picking an Ascension perk I don't normally pick. Because I want to oh. try something with it. Oh, I found Polaris. Anyway. But yeah, have you already got your Ascension perk yet, or...? Yes, I have. Which one did you get? I got Ascended Learning, actually. Uh, is that the one I got? You got the tech um, one, I got. You? Yeah, I got the Technological Ascendancy. I've got the one where it's your leader cap is increased and your leader uh, levels are up higher. Oh, okay. I found a Primitive Civ. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Local franchise. An urgent missive from the Havo... Expands, explains that the number of new, now former members of the racket seek political asylum on the planet. The local administration has seen fit to pass the decision of what to do with them up the chain of command. All may contribute. Turn them away. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll take in some people. All this may very, contribute. This seems very similar to the event in CK2 where you harbor that political... Uh, that political refugee from China. Uh huh. Hopefully, it doesn't end the same way. Do you usually keep them, or do you say do you? Uh, I usually, yeah, I usually keep them. I say, what to be honest, China's gonna, China's not gonna come all the way here to invade little old me. They, they did that to me. Oh, they did. Yeah, with a two hundred k army. <laughs> <laughs> it sucked, man. But I'll do that. Anomaly Is detected. Am I crazy, or does the hollow theater not give as much Stars. amenities as the luxury? Oh, it gives hollow theater is actually really freaking good with a minute with the amenities. Okay, so it, it's just the icon is deceptive. Yeah, it's plus twenty amenities. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it's actually plus two jobs uh -huh. as opposed to the luxury resources, which is plus five amenities. Yeah. No, it's real freaking good. So, Does what are Gaia... moats? Because this game has things called moats, and I'm just curious. Uh, it's just another special resource. I don't remember. Maybe it helps with... It's explosives, like, from what I can gather. Explosives? Oh, so like missiles and stuff. Yeah. Hmm. What the frick? Oh, he's surveying yeah. stuff. Okay, whatever. My science ships are being weird, because I somehow told him to do that. Uh, am I already at my admin limit? Not quite yet. I'm almost there. Pacifist does give me plus 10, so I'm glad I took that. Ooh, and my... I don't have enough influence to get... Uh, search... Map the stars. Also, if any of you hear someone squealing, that is a squealing baby. It's very happy. Oh, yeah, squealing, that's just... But... Yeah, that's Justin's daughter. She likes to make noises when she's happy. You know, it's better than the alternative. Yeah, exactly. It's much better than a wailing baby. You know, with all the... With all the harpoons and stuff. Oh, yeah. So, how is your starbase policy right now? Are you trying to go for super expansion out there? Or? I am going to cap myself out at the administration limit, and that's going to be it. Technology discovered. Yeah, I realize we don't have... Uh... Oh, I never put a starbase there. We don't have... Um... Brain is going to blank and ever... You know, systems designated for star bases, like with planets and stuff. So it's like, eh, no, we actually pick it according to where it's most strategic. Yeah, exactly. So I've already discovered some primitive sieves. What do you want our policy to be on primitive sieves? You can't uplift them. You just treat them as is. You just leave them be. Uh, I mean, you can make first them contact. vassals, I guess, but don't, you have to. Well, them first. that's okay. That's what I was wondering. Could could we make them vassals? Uh, yeah, why not? Okay. As long as they're cool with it. I mean, it's a, that was a thing anyway, so you could vassalize other people, so. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do that. Uh, Good old luxury residences. Ah, uh, yeah, they're so nice. Get that extra housing. Oh, I haven't really had any housing problems. What is your population at, by the way? I don't either, but I think it's going to happen. Well, you know what? No, it won't. Not, not yet. I am currently at 32. 32. I'm at 33. Okay, so we're still neck and neck. No! Stay back. 
<laughs> haven't run into any leviathans yet, so that's good. That's going to be a pain to deal with. Yeah, especially I, if... I've got a dreadnought. Oh, you do have a dreadnought. Yup. Yup, I do. You know, I'm not doing anything else. I may as well build a second construction ship. Construction complete. I'm at that point where I'm like, I kind of want it. And I've got okay. 12 of those. Yes, I do. Let me get an admiral. Uh, my crime's already good, so I don't need to worry about that. I doubt crime's going to be a major issue in a one-planet system. Yeah, it, it one should planet be. Empire. Updated. Nah. I go ahead and hit there. I should have the alloys by the time I arrive. Construction Theoretically, right? Right. Old with defects. Interesting. I love all these caravan events because they're just parked in my system. Oh, nice. Getting some good stuff out of the space gypsies. Updated. I think so. I think so. I mean, when they uh, what do I need to your lands and pillage and burn. Need a construction ship. So you go here. How many days do I have? Oh, so many days. Oh my god. Star system it said I had some like 3,000 days to search that. And you're like, oh, I'm good. Yeah, I can take my sweet time. So did you see China landed a, a probe on the moon? Something on the dark side of the moon, yep. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't hear. I didn't know that was a thing until I heard about it this morning. Was it a probe or a manned spacecraft? Oh, God, no. It was. It's, we would definitely hear about it if it was a manned spacecraft. China invaded the moon. <laughs> yeah. No, it was only a probe, but it's good we're still putting stuff up there. Getting, getting ready for people to go back. At least someone's putting something up there. Yeah, exactly. At least progress is being made by somebody. Oh, more caravans. What do you What do you want to give me? Uh, at this point, we just want to steal your stuff. What? Uh, five hundred uni? Hell yeah, I can afford that. There we go. Got construction ship. I'm starting to fall behind the space stations because I'm being dumb. And you know what you don't that. want to do in this game. You don't want to be dumb. God no, that's a that's cardinal sin. Can't be dumb. Cardinal sin number two seventy three. Being dumb. Yep. Add it to the list. Star system. Um, oh, engineering lacks a scientist. Oops. How long has that been a thing? Uh, oh sweet, him. I got a tech. Put this guy in charge. Yes, reassign him. Science ship needs a new leader. It needs the Derpy McDerpington over here. Thank you. This is this is coming in the recording, but you know what? All of a sudden, I felt feel like playing. What? Overwatch. I don't know why. Overwatch. <laughs> we can do that like, again. We can do I another. Be, I want to play Overwatch right now. We can do another Overwatch stream. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, it's almost uh, like I'm screw. Thinking... We're not good enough, but you know what? Who cares, right? Yeah, I mean, nah, it's fine. Not, you, people don't always watch Overwatch to see good gameplay. But I mean, our know. last the last time we did Overwatch wasn't that bad. I don't think it did that bad. We got a few viewers. We did. And Adam was able to participate. Yeah, it's always nice when Adam's able to drop by. Do things. Construction. This is not bad. I have a whole section that I'm trying to see if I can him in. Um, We haven't revealed locations. Do you want to, or do you want that to be a surprise? No, if it takes too long, we'll eventually reveal locations, but... You're I'm like, not gonna no, no, let, let you know just it. yet. Yeah, we'll we'll leave that for now. Now, do I still have my decision? Now, I am building up my fleet quite a bit because I've got some pretty unhappy neighbors. Star system charge. Um, I have not. I mean, I have a fleet. It's not like I don't have nothing, but like I'm already at almost a thousand fleet power. Gotcha. I'm. Like, I'm sure at, I have twelve my... corvettes. So there you go. I do have the crew quarters. Yes, I do. Good. Ah, I should get that. Yeah, your starbase. Starbase is still don't have to be optimized terribly, but you know it's always nice to do it. Yeah, it's always nice to have that. Um, you know the, the crew quarters. That way, you're not paying out the nose for upkeep. Exactly. Oh, that reminds me. Piracy. How is the trade doing? All right, good. One hundred percent trade. The spices must flow. It and is flowing plentifully. plentifully. How much money am I actually making? Trade value fourteen. Okay. Yeah, we'll get automated exploration. That sounds like a good tech to get right now. I always sometimes hesitate to do automated exploration because I'm like, I don't really care. I can do it myself. <laughs> yeah, I, I think in the future I'm just gonna automatically explore with one of my science vessels, vessels, 
uh, Wessels, and um, with the other one, I'm going to pick up all of those anomalies the and uh, scan. Yeah, all the quests and stuff that the automatic exploration misses. Gotcha, that'll be good. Can I build more agriculture, please? I think I might need a consumer goods than our civilian industries. I don't need to boost habitability. I can hold off on that for a long time. I would like to get the extra fleet logistics. Ah, unnecessary, you know. Nah, who needs it? We'll just go at them in one big mob and hope for the best. Yeah, like like all good planning people do. That's right. Oh, so the resource hall does produce a clerk job. That's kind of nice.